Now, we're getting ready for the very last match of the day. It's gonna be Team Dongo versus Team Mid. Owner, as a captain of Team Dongo, you are still playing top, I guess? We had an in-depth discussion about the lane allocation and we decided to put me on the top lane one more time. Owner, you are playing the third one of the day, a very long day for you. Are you confident about the finals? We played, you know, a 24-minute long game twice, which means we are on a, game, a good momentum, you know, back-to-back -back victories. So I think we are on the right path to win it all. It's amazing that we get to perform in front of such a large crowd before the LCK season started. And if we can actually win it all, it would be even better. So I will make sure to stay focused until the end of the match. Now, on the side of Team Mid, the captain, Faker, will have a chat before the game starts. Faker, one more time in the jungle. And this is the grand finals. Were you expecting Team Jungle to make it to the finals? Not at all. I was not expecting them to make it to the finals, but I guess their potential is pretty good. And if you manage to take Team Jungle down, you will be the champion. For all the mid laners out there, I will make sure to win. There is no way we're losing to junglers. Are you going to take smite this time? I promise. Amazing. Now it is time for the finals. Now back to Atlas and Chronicler. Thank you. We're all giggling, having a good time. As Whoa. Oh, I actually, I was saying I'm owner. pretty sure Paynot knows how to play Rel. Well, yeah, I, I was I was thinking owner yet again, unfortunately for him, relegated to Rel duty, but <laughs> won't be him this time around. Uh, top lane Rel, I don't expect to see. Uh, my expectation would be that it's for Peanut, but it could also be a flex for Gideon. Very true. Uh, depending on what they want to do. Uh, this is an amazing poppy angle. It's a really good poppy angle. Yeah. Uh, no, no, this, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Yone? This is, this is Yone top. Yeah. Uh, which, again, into poppy, I don't know if you should, but. Seraphine Rel is the bottom lane. Okay, of no, wait, that's so good. Fun. Oh, Aatrox is, I mean, uh, that is the original Yeah, no, Trophy I know. Top lane, I knew the right? moment that Cassante was banned, this was going to be it. But this was his chance. Yeah. I would say, you know, they've got some scaling elements towards that bottom side. They've got a mage in the mid lane. They've got a bruiser on the top side. Chovy and Owner are having a great time here, not hitting one another. <gasps> oh! You know what? That's, that's poor form. Wow, owner. That is poor form. Unbelievable. Now you gotta let him cue you. On vision right now. Gideon and Lucid will come around and give him the bad news. Faker not going to be at risk of losing his life. Was that Gideon that got the smite yeah. as well? I'm pretty sure it was. Faker may also die. There he goes. And first blood, one minute 40. Gideon's on the board. My goodness. You can see Faker looking a little bit flustered here. Gideon just getting to work. And even looking for a gank in mid, deciding not to head towards... Oh, he lands the Q! Closer not having to flash, but the lane is going to be a lot harder now. And the one saving grace for team mid is that Sitch. Uh, we're feeling quite good about. Nice crash down to alleviate the stresses of Sylvie. Telfar just trying to keep Sylvie okay as... The unbound soul will happen here as Ona does have to go back. No flash going to be used there by Chovy. And Faker now looking for an opportunity bottom side of the map. Trying to clear. Sylvie hasn't backed yet. Does have TP, but no help. Um, and the crash down is going to come through. That is such a weird interaction that just happened there. Faker is going to help grab the kill, but he goes down as well. And Much then, harder to gank this top lane, though, with the added space. Yeah. He's got spotted, spotted here. The flash out, making sure that that ultimate is not going to connect. That's the just 1v2. Well, I mean, it's not real. It's just a 1v1. Solo kill from Chovy. Grubs. Yep. It's a small way, and his is going to try and look for a play here. Koza does still have his flash, might have to use it. X-Flash, and he's going to be denied the crash down with the charm. 
Closer does have flash like you say, does use it to get over the wall. There's a knock up onto Fake. A heroic charge is going to stun up the One and own it. He does manage to make his way out, but not without a few bruises. And we're going to check this one out one more time as Joby, like we said before, Ona was in a rough lane state. Yeah, and then actually, oh. that was so well done. Whoa. So, yeah, that was that was my response as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, he flashed up the old I, It was a joke. I, I, I did not mean that. But he is really good as Rogue Charge going to not get in into the wall. Faker picks up his buffer, creating some space here, but now Faker is just going to get collapsed on. That is the kill for Gideon. Uh, it was very similar CS numbers, uh, interestingly enough. Just showing that mid laners love farm. And now BDD not loving what's happening here. That's going to be Sylvie kind of bailed out with that one. The Encore going to connect onto Karis as well, who flashes, gets the culling down onto Peanut. A fair bit of damage there as well, as now he's trying to turn it. Gideon, fair bit of damage there. There's a flag forward from Peanut, and you are not going to escape that one. Beautifully done there. The turnaround, just an overstep from Karis. Yeah, we need or to something. Exactly. We've got so many more things to name. I need to go and have a chat to LS. Items? What about Gwei's entire skill set? Oh, yeah, Very that's impressive. been on point. Um, that one, of course, not mattering even a little bit. As now Peanut finds a Magnus Storm onto BDD once again. He's trying to keep himself alive. The Encore not going to connect, though, and BDD is still alive. Sylvie's dead, and the teleport's coming in. Peanut is not long for the world, and Karis is now massive. Appreciate that. As Jovi's here towards his bottom side, uh, he has four friends now available, and I don't think he's surviving this one. Lucid's going to collect that one. That's a big bounce. Yeah, this is great. It's 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 oh. pretty even. As um, oh, not again. If at first you don't succeed, try 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 again. As the Umbral Dash, he's fine going. as far as uh, experience is concerned. And Karis looking for Sylvie. The Encore will connect, but, yeah, but he just doesn't have the damage. So. He might be in trouble here. Yeah, he does get charmed. Um, Closer, though, isn't exactly fully safe himself, as the Rift Herald is going to get started up. Faker can get himself in there if he'd like to. Uh, but he finds himself a fire kick. And now, Faker is going to crash into the wall. I mean, that wasn't a steering issue. I think that was a parking issue from the very beginning. Oh, yeah, some of those can be said. But sometimes Magical Journey is difficult. There's now Trovi fighting against Ona here. The Infernal Chains did connect. The Umbral Dash going to be utilized, and Trovi just takes him down. That looked like he had a ranged auto attack, but the auto had already started by the time he was going back. And that is the solo kill from Trovi as all Flash is going to be denied there from Closer. He's trying to Spirit Rush away, but there are too many junglers. Here on this top side of the map. Jungle's map play is just genuinely oh good. I work, I've got They're all ganking uh, all the time. Yeah. Take a look he, at this. He misclicked, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll do it, dude. Sometimes that happens. I swear. Well. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Isn't that a good time? <laughs> <laughs> I crashed it. Oh, Lucid. Oh, no. Well, Blizz is diving in. Looking for the opportunity. There's a heroic charge from Faker. Gets the knock up onto two as Peanut. Just going to be trying to save his mid laner, and he does so effectively. Teleport to come forward here as well. As Peanuts charmed, crashes down to get himself out of the way. Sylvie just trying to keep his teammates alive. I think we're learning a lot of stuff here. We're learning that Sylvie... Well, um, oh, oh, learning well. that Faker really likes flashing over walls and getting stuff done. Closer connects the charm as well. That's going to be the end of Ona this time around. Karis now just trying to keep himself alive against Lucid, but it's just not going to happen. Five point strike. He's going to connect it with a kill onto BDD as well. Not entirely sure what BDD was doing there, but it didn't look like a great idea. Baron's going to launch himself onto the Rift. We've got a team fight as well as Gideon's having to get out of there. Chovy, yeah, the World Ender is feeling aptly named. Yeah, I know, this... but he can do that as a support. Yeah, and actually, great Blitz, Crank, and Nautilus looked absolutely fine. It's Chovy going to get caught out by a few people, but the rest of the team are on their way in. There's the ulti. It gets rid of Gideon, and that means no more Peanut. Maybe that was a cast of curse. I'm not entirely sure. As Closer going to Spirit Rush, finds the charm onto Gideon. I don't think that was his intended target, but it worked out quite nicely. And Sylvie's going to be taken down to his Seraphs. And Mid are looking to try and push through and grab the inhibitor turret. Closer had to go back. Chovy gets over the wall. Who said? Yes, bounties were. Oh, I get it. That is so his thing. The game knows that he's Faker. Ah, so the, the, the auto bounty. Out. Okay, oh, well, he's also going to dive on top of Gideon here, who can't safeguard until that uh, Stepas presence does wear off. Those are moving on in as well, and the junglers are looking to try and scatter to the wind. And it's feeling a little bit like the tides have turned. Faker's still just rushing forward. There's the fate sealed, though, from Ona, but it's just not enough. Fall 
follow-up and he goes down. Closer will be taken out as well, but Karis is there with the damage. Not been having the greatest of times, so maybe it could have been more impactful, but it was more just the coordination wasn't quite as there as now Lucid. He's taking his opportunity against Chovy. The Akali seems to be working out for now. Oh. Peanut is going to turn up as well. Chovy now trying to hang on as best he can. The backflip is going to connect, doesn't get the Q3, and Lucid is the one that puts him down. And is that by itself enough? Sylvie walks forward, no! Oh dear, the Encore is going to come through, but unfortunately, there was a... You actually tack closer, but they're not aware of that. At least right now, Sylvie's still dead for 20 seconds. Chovy does have TP. Are they want to go? Yeah, Gideon does find the resonating strike mid, keeping them at arm's length, though, as best they can. Heroic charge from Faker initiates the fight. His owner goes back, and the Light Slinger was not in the air. Peanut's so incredibly low, though. For and it's just the moment. That's not the case. It's Lucid. Oh, yeah, closer. Not in again. Oh, my God! Arm there. Lucid actually going in. Tanky. Okay. With a spurred item. Uh, so, Chovy doesn't really die. Wow. Karis is doing a lot of damage. Gideon looks for the kickback, though, and Karis is just eviscerated. The teleports are coming through. Faker needs to land this, and he does manage to get rid of the Akali. That is a lot of the damage missing. Is now Faker trying to get Owner out of the fight as well. They're staying alive for so long, and now Lucid dives in, but Chovy's already picked up the double. The onslaught could be happening as Lucid tries to be the hero. Chovy's surviving for so long, but it's a double kill for this Akali. Make that almost a triple, but Sylvie takes that one away, and it's really starting to feel like Lucid versus Chovy. And right now, Lucid's winning. And it felt like... They were able to absorb the initial burst. Chovy with Spirit Visage, with the Milio ult, was starting to drain tank. Faker hit a crucial ult, but Lucid wasn't there for the beginning of that fight. And now, yeah, with the Seraphine sustained, it's so hard. Faker oh. gonna try and have to go for a smite here. Uh, they're not gonna be so low that you can kill one of them, but you can try to just flip it. He has Flash available. No kick for Gideon. And he's giving them the good old thumbs up, seeing whether he can get in there for a potential flash smite. As Lucid says, no. I don't think Wait. So. he gets into the pit. Oh. There's it! Oh. Make it takes it away. One versus four. This is crazy. Some of the games before this might have felt like before. This is not for fun. This oh, no. is for real. As it starts with Paris getting taken down, and it feels like the fight is already won for Team Jungle. But then here, crucially, due to the teleport, they get loose out of the fight. So much damage has gone. And look at how much damage Chovy does and hooks here. And it looks like he's going to turn if Lucid arrives just in the nick of time and is able to actually chew through the health on level 16 on that Aatrox, but still not enough. But then... Oh, oh, oh okay. We are straight back into it. The Encore is going to connect. A lot of damage. That's Karis taken down immediately. Close is going to die as well. And now Chovy, one versus five. It feels like he's been in this situation so many times today. We need to contest the one, the first mountain dragon. As, <laughs> yeah. I, it, so, interestingly Why enough, without the kick, <laughs> it's basically impossible to keep him out of the pit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Lucid's just waiting. Oh, closer. He doesn't know. He doesn't. He is going to Spear Rush. And now looks for Lucid. Lucid doesn't connect the perfect execution towards the end. And Closer now trying to get back to his team desperately. There's a heroic charge. Closer almost dying, but it does not happen. Faker says just leave. Gets him out of there. It's Sylvie that they want. Ona getting himself in there. Another heroic charge from Faker. They want to kill his Seraphine, but she is surviving for so long. Eventually, Team Mid will win out. They get oh. that side of the map oh. is safety. Oh, oh dear. he doesn't oh dear. know. Oh, oh no. Oh, he has oh. no idea. Oh, oh, he's so dead. That is. That's catastrophic. He walks into the brush and he's just going to get taken out. Lucid. And then here. <laughs> This face. <laughs> but this is really big because this probably means that there's no soul. That or giggle it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And now Team Jungle, they're looking for a front to back. They want to fight in the choke point, use that ultimate from Sylvie. Looks like it's mid that are looking for it. There's the Magnus Storm, but Peanut doesn't have a lot of friends right now. Lucid turns up immediately, and Ona, he comes in as well. They take down Karis. But mid of one fights without him before. Sylvie is the one now that could be in trouble, but he gets so many shields. Trovi as well doing the same thing. And there's Ona with the double. Launches into the back line, turns it into a triple kill. And now Faker once again, the last man standing. And I have a feeling this is it. It's over in Team Jungle.
three in a row to prove themselves the best role in the LCK. And I was not expecting this team to do well. Yes, better jungler wins, but that alone can't be enough to actually win. Surely not, the laning phase should be too big a problem. Even in this game alone, I lost count of how many creeps they lost, but it doesn't matter. Killing creeps isn't what this game is about, it is killing Nexuses, and they killed three today. Top lane Good performance was great. Also really good that he did not hit the smite. Ah, uh, true. But like this, these moments from Peanut. I think Faker's smite does more damage. That's why he couldn't find that's the smite in the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, why he yeah. couldn't find it, because his is a different one. Once again, the cacophony. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad Lucid's in the LCK now. I, I mean, just saying, Lucid hasn't lost a single game in Law Park in 2024 at the True. Three and zero. Neither has Sylvie. It's a good start. I wonder when Showmaker is going to win more games than Lucid on Akali this year. How long it's going to take? <laughs> How long it's going to take? Oh. <laughs> Look at Sylvie. He's looking a little bit sheepish. I think that's uh, after the early that, that's kind of, the, game. of the, the, the Sylvie default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so loud. <laughs> Toughest 